Hey guys, it's Josie. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I want to share with you some ideas about oracle cards and whether using oracle cards or tarot cards is the way to invoke evil negative energy. So many questions from you, especially about Doreen Virtue, because now she has nothing to do with oracle cards and I'm still using her cards. And let me share with you my own experience and also what I have heard from angels specifically about these cards. So when it comes to creation, when it comes to creative energy, creative energy does not belong to any particular individual. So a person who writes a book is a channel for certain idea to come through, for certain energy to be expressed. And if you are the right vehicle for that idea, for that purpose, for that intention, divine cosmic energy will find its way into the physical world. So during virtue at a certain stage in her life was an excellent channel excellent channel. I love her. I still do. I think she is a beautiful soul. But at that stage in her life, she was a perfect channel for that creative energy to come through. And that's when she created these oracle cards and books about angels. She created workshops, online courses. Now, I, I've taken her courses and I love them. And I think she's a great teacher. So wherever she is right now, she's moving along her own lifeline. So there's no judgment and you don't expect people to stay on the same line, doing the same job, you know, producing the same materials. It's unrealistic. If she's not inspired to do these cards, that's fine. She can take whatever road she chooses. But what should we do with the Oracle cards? Should we just forget all about it because Doreen Virtue has nothing to do with them? Wait. Remember that creative energy used the moment of connection with Doreen Virtue to create something beautiful. That's it. Now that's your gift from the universe, from divine energy. And the reason you know that these cards come from higher power is by looking at results is by looking at whether these particular cards give you a sense of joy. Are they helping you? Are they giving you some valuable guidance and information that you can actually use in your life? That's the most important thing. Now, when you are choosing these Oracle cards, I always encourage you to feel them. Hold the deck in your hand and put it towards your heart. And notice how this deck is making you feel. Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel safe? Does it make you feel protected? And you know that's the universal energy is communicating with you through that deck. And that's the gift of all of the intuitive tools, divination tools, because now you are communicating with the divine and you are the reader. So the cards are not external. It's not that cards have some sort of special magic. It's you. You are connecting to the deeper part of yourself and receiving guidance from your own higher places, from your soul, from your higher self. You're receiving powerful guidance and cards are just extensions of that energy, of the same cosmic energy that is flowing through you and you love these cards. If you love these cards, it means that your soul loves them too and that's the only thing that matters. You may disagree with the author of these cards on many subjects, on political subjects, on diet, on food, and everything else could be fine. But the cards is their creation. They were the channels for that universal energy to create something beautiful. And that's your, your own gift from the divine. 
here you go guys i hope this video was helpful to you if you want to share your own stories with decks and oracle cards put them in the comments below and if you want to ask me questions go to jerseygrouse.com i love you be well and blessed i'll chat with you in the next video